Merry Christmas, friends. Um, I know in the last video I told you I was going to install the table and I really can't wait to install the table, but there's one more thing I want to do before I, I do this. It's actually something I forgot to do. Um, in video 30, we uh, look at uh, how to uh, adjust the central gibbs, but we never uh, adjusted these gibbs that hold uh, the saddle to, uh, to the base. Um, so uh, this is what we're going to do next. Uh, this should be a pretty short video, so uh, let's do this. Okay, so this is the gib here. This block uh, here is um, bolted to the saddle, and this is what holds the, the gib. It has a taper, uh, the, the, the gib is taper and the block is taper, and when they work together, uh, as you pull or push on the gib, it, it gets tighter or looser. And uh, this is the adjusting screw for the gib. Uh, right now, uh, well, these, this uh, screw, if you, uh, if you turn right, uh, you loosen the gib, and you, if you turn left, counterclockwise, uh, you tighten the gib. So it's uh, lefty tidy, uh, righty loosey in this case. <laughs> And um, the trick is, according to the uh, the Fadal technician manual, you uh, use uh, one thou thick. Um, um, what's it called? The shimstock. Yeah. Uh, you put it between the gib and the the rail. This and. Uh, so first you loosen the gib as much as you can. You you put uh, some uh, shim stock between the gib and the rail, and then you uh, tighten the the gib, and then uh, until you can't pull on the the, the, the shim stock, and then you loosen the gib while pulling on the shim stock, and as soon as the shim uh, can be pulled out, then uh, you tighten the gib three quarter of a turn in this case uh, this way so uh, that's the plan uh, on the there's also a gib uh, on the back of the saddle and um, two gibs on the other side of the the base um, on the back i already installed the, sh the shim stock it was very easy uh, to um, to push but over here uh, i can't it won't go. So I'll have to loosen uh, the three uh, bolts that hold the block here to the, the saddle. So that's what I'm going to do next. So that I can uh, push the shim stock between the, just to loosen the block, put my shim stock and, uh, and then re-tighten these uh, three bolts. Okay, okay so, uh, I, you know, my, my tripod uh, won't, uh, hold my phone low enough so that I can film this and do it at the same time. So I'm just going to show you what I'm going to do, but uh, I can't really film and do it at the same time. So there are these three, uh, these three uh, bolts here, which I'm going to loosen to get this uh, block loose enough to push my shim stock. Okay, so uh, now that the three bolts are loose, I can move this a tiny little bit. Uh, this should be quite enough, hopefully, to push the shim stock. Yep, there you go. So, uh, shim stock is in. So, now I'm going to tighten uh, the, the, the gib using the adjustment screw. So that, uh, oh, first, Okay, let me loosen it again. So I pulled the the gib all the way out here. Shim stock is easy to move. Uh, I was forgetting uh, that I need to tighten the screws, the, the, the bolts under the table. before I adjust the gib. Okay. 
All right, so I can still move the shim stock. So uh, it's time to tighten the gib until I can no longer pull on the shim stock, which is pretty much the case right now. So I'm going to loosen the gib slowly while pulling on the shim stock. There you go. Shim stock is coming. So I'm going to tighten the gib by doing three quarter of a turn. That's it. That uh, is now adjusted. So uh, that's all there is to it. Uh, it's quite simple, but uh, needed to be done. Uh, I did this uh, one here. I have uh, the other one on the back and these two on the other side. It's just uh, more of the same thing. So uh, no need to uh, show it, I don't think. So I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.